you know, it's. I'm going to draw a parallel, and then I'll, I'll get to the, the quick. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank, uh, get to the quick answer. Um, you look at the Department of Health's budget, and full-time staff is about 514, about 65 million dollars worth of salaries. And then you look at service providers, and it's almost double that. Right? They've been privatizing our public health systems, and so it seems like there's money. It just is not more money for full-time employees that are working on the public sector side, and we need to change that. So we need to increase the number of full-time employees. Yes, but what are they going to do? I think it's very important when I look through the lens of being a medical doctor, organizer, to work with health equity zones, to have participatory budgeting, uh, where we are bringing members of the community of this specific demographic together and really talking about what areas of need they've identified, go through assessments, and then make sure that the money is going there to develop the programs, right, or to expand the programs that are essential to them. If we, you know, can we do this? Can we do participatory budgeting? Budgeting. Yes, we can. Uh, Acting Secretary on an advisor of the Health and Human Services Department actually teamed with the Department of Health, uh, Dr. Bondi, uh, and, and they developed this pilot program to work with two PESs, $900,000 over the next two years, on issues of racial inequities and, and health, health equity. You know, we can take that pilot as a model and really apply it to this sector as well. So we're not only increasing full-time employees, but those employees have certain roles and duties that will point them towards our health equity zones around the state and really bring communities together to ensure that we are developing and expanding the programs that are essential to you. Because again, times are changing and we continue to operate behind this table and talk about solutions, but if we're not including communities in those solutions, I don't really think we're gonna be able to implement them effectively. Thank you.